Hello everyone, my name is Eric. You are welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to discuss with you good agriculture practice for growing cassava. Cassava is grown in worldwide. Initially, it was originated in tropical uh, South America and it brought in Africa in mid 1500 years and it reached here in East Africa around 1700 years. But in Africa, cassava serves a staple food to over 500 million of people in Sub-Saharan. And it's a crucial food for food security. In addition, it generates income for poor households in several countries. So in Africa, we look cassava in different angles, like in other parts of the world that they use cassava for other products like starch and pharmaceutical company for producing different good. But in Africa, we view cassava in different angles. That's why today I'm coming with ep this episode to share with you how these cassava are produced. And more important, I will explain good agriculture practice or the gap for growing cassava, which step by step, which it is initially started in a greenhouse. So this is a greenhouse for certified nursery that they are producing this uh, cassava cutting seedlings. So this it was off season, but I wanted to know how this cassava initially they are produced because we have different ecological zone. So which means we need different kind of variety. So which variety is doing well in which environment? And because cassava it's safe as in many African countries as a staple food, but it also have other purpose, especially the, in recent there is high demand of dry cassava in China. So you can see which this can rise the high demand for growing cassava. So if you want to grow cassava, you should first consider choosing good varieties. There is different varieties with different purpose. There is most of cassava that's for producing this for domestic use, like many, the main product for our domestic use are this cassava for, for making this cassava paste, which in East Africa we call it ugali. So this can, they can grow, they take six months for this modern variety. They can take six months up to nine months that they can be mature. But once you are growing cassava for different purpose, it can take more than two years it's if like you're extracting like starch. So you should know which cassava you need and for which purpose. Because as we mentioned, it generates income. So you are not only producing for step food or food security. You must think of how it can generate income. If you're thinking how it can generate income, you must conduct a small a survey in the market so you can see the demand in the market so the demand of the market is the one that can direct you which kind of variety you're going to choose so this farmer he grow different variety of cassava with different distinctive characteristics so i visited this farm i learned like different physiological properties of this cassava some are very growing very tall some are very short but some they give the yield for, for very short period of time. So that's why I come and insist in that, guys. Choosing the best varieties is very, very important and it's crucial for your production. And it depends also why you're growing your cassava. If you're growing cassava, maybe for export, you should know which variety is needed in your export market. So once you are certified, you can take the cassava cutting like this, you correct, make sure you corrected from certified nursery because and uh, they are free from this disease. And once you can cut and then you can make the ridge like this one and then you can plant your cassava. So once you plant like this, the management starts right away. And most of cassava in Africa are rain-fed cassava. But if you are growing commercially, we advise for you also to consider the supplementary irrigation. 
So there is a different growth stage. So weeding is also very important when you are growing cassava. I insist, guys, weeding is very, very important. This cassava, they don't need a lot of management. But weeding, guys, is very crucial and it, it can give you high yield. And there is huge difference. The cassava that are weeded maybe once or weeded twice, they give better yield than the cassava that they weeded, they weeded once. And the cassava that they are not weeded at all, they give very poor yield. So that's why you, you need to consider your cassava to be in a place where it's free of weed, which means there is no weed. If you have that, you are sure that the cassava, because they make the, the produce, the main product of cassava are root, these tubers. So if you clean the weed, so the tuber can develop and give you the best result that you need. If you have been following my video from my previous episode of cassava, I explain everything to know about cassava. And more important, I insisted the how cassava is processed locally in rural Tanzania. If you want to gain that experience, so you can visit this channel and then you can watch that episode. You will see how it's produced, how it's processed locally, and how we are removing this because cassava is poisonous. So how they are removing that toxic substance which processes and how it is cost effective. So if you are interested with that, go to my YouTube channel, the name Eric Mari, search that one, and then you will get that information about how cassava are processed in rural Tanzania. So guys, it's very important like to have to weed your cassava, but most of price because cassava, it does need a lot of management like other crops, but people want to go they even forget to weed. So that's why I'm insisting again, weeding is very important and it have very huge difference. The cassava that are weeded or the farm that are weeded and the farm that are not weeded. I hope you find the value in this episode. I hope you will give it the thumb, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in another episode. Bye.